Hello, this is Professor Mikey. Welcome to the overview video for CompTIA A+, 220-1101 and 220-1102. These lecture notes are credited to James Messer. If you're watching this video, then you're probably interested in the CompTIA A+, certification. And why wouldn't you be? Because it's one of the most popular IT certifications in the world. It's commonly used to introduce people to information technology or provide people with a way to show that they know the skills required to get a job working in IT. This is a great starting point in the industry. And if you look at job postings in your area, you'll probably see a number of jobs where a plus certification is a prerequisite or requirement for getting that position. You can see down here, that's where I started at my help desk, had a few different screens and computers, and I was having a blast. Okay, so who is CompTIA? Um, it's managed by the Computing Technology Industry Association. Not only is CompTIA one of the largest providers of IT certifications, their certifications are also vendor neutral. This means that the information in the exam executive is not specific to a single vendor, but instead covers many different vendors across IT. CompTIA members include manufacturers, resellers, training organizations, and anyone else who would be interested in making sure they have a solid foundation of IT professionals. This Exam is accepted in over 100 countries and provided in many languages, so language barriers are not a problem. The objectives have really improved over the years, and I'm quite impressed that Microsoft, Apple, and Linux have partnered together and allowed their different technologies to be used in these objectives. The meaningful IT training that you'll be exposed to is PC hardware and software troubleshooting, corporate and professional IT, operational procedures and policies, mobile devices, um, external devices, usually wireless devices as well, like printers or Bluetooth or something, basic networking, basic security, basic virtualization, Windows 10, Windows 11, Mac OS, and Linux. This course covers two exams that are associated with the a certification. The first is the 2-220-110. We sometimes refer to this as the core one exam and the 1102, which is referred to the core two exam. Both of these exams were released on the same date of April 20th, 2022. This course is designed to give you everything you need to learn from CompTIA exam objectives, and it's separated in small bite-sized videos. So you can find exactly what you're looking for and brush up on it. There's a wide array of different testing and learning material with the overall goal is to just have a strong foundation in IT. So it consists of five different domains in the core one. You'll see there's mobile devices, networking, hardware, virtualization and cloud computing, hardware and network troubleshooting. And the core two focuses more on operating systems and software. There is absolutely no time restrictions between these exams. That means you could take one exam, wait another year and take another exam and it would be fine. There is no cooling off period or anything like that. Um, so you can get certified. You don't have to rush. You can take it slow and steady if you want to. The only rule is that you need to pass both exams before they retire and that will be at the end of 2025. So you have plenty of time. The exam itself is a little bit different from other exams. Um, they are straightforward with multiple choice questions. However, there are performance-based questions where you might have to complete a task, maybe type something in a prompt, or drag and drop something into an environment. So you really need to know your stuff in and out. 
uh, because you will be tested in different ways. Here are some strategies you can use to pass the test. Obviously, learn the objectives. You need to learn every objective that's on the test and be ready for anything. Although taking practice exams and reading is great, it's a lot better to get hands-on experience and use labs or real-life experience to learn those objectives as well. Getting a good book is also a great foundation. You should be reading as much as you can and learn new material. You should test yourself often. Take many practice exams and see where your strengths and weaknesses are. There are so many approaches and strategies you can use to pass this test. Good luck. Thanks for watching.